Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the default admin username using a MySQL query if you currently have the admin username on your site. Quite often, if you had, uh, if you installed WordPress before WordPress 3.0, where you could choose your own username, you had a admin username account created for you no matter what, and that account quite often can't be deleted. But what you can do is change the actual username. So you can change it from admin to something more secure. The reason you want to do this is because admin is a very common target for brute force attacks, where hackers have to guess your username and password and gain access to your account. They do that using automated software. And a username they try every single time is the admin user account. And that's why you want to change it. So in order to change it, you have to open up your cPanel hosting account, which I'm in right now. This is, this is my HostGator account, and yours will look similar. It might not have all the same graphics, but it'll have all the same options if it's a cPanel account. And what you want to do is scroll down to where you find the PHP MyAdmin app and click on that. Once PHP MyAdmin loads, you'll be presented with an interface that looks something like this. On the left-hand side, you'll be able to choose the database that you want to update the admin user in. And you choose the database of your website, which in this case, our database is called FlowerPots. And then you want to click on the Query tab in the top. In the Query down here, it's uh, the SQL query on the database, and then it says the database name. You want to put the query that I have right down below this video so you can copy and paste it. But essentially what it says is update WP users table, set the user login equal to whatever the username you choose. So you want to put a new username in here, like bulldozer could be the new username you choose. And we want to change the user login to bulldozer where the user login is admin, thereby changing or deleting essentially the admin user. And again, quite often you can't do this via the WordPress uh, dashboard because sometimes that admin user can't be deleted. So you want to do it in your MySQL database. And this is, this is a great step towards protecting your site from brute force attacks. After you set your username and the query is in there, all you do is submit query. I'm not going to do it in this case because there actually is no admin user on, this, uh, on any of my websites actually. So what you'll see is a success message saying user's been updated. So the next time you log in, you can't use the username admin. You'll have to use the new username that you selected here. So in this video, we learn how to change the admin username to something else, something that will protect your site a little more from brute force attacks. I hope this video helps you. If you like it, please make sure you like it and share it. Please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out wplearninglab.com where we write WordPress tutorials every single day. I'll talk to you soon.